In other news, independent celebrations in the Western District taking center stage as the Ministry for Grand Bahama joined forces with the local member of parliament to spearhead an economic revival initiative. On Sunday night, West End became the focal point as residents and officials gathered for a festive occasion aimed at energizing the area's economic prospects. Jay Philippe brings us the highlights. The Ministry for Grand Bahamas Welcoming Home Week of Independent Celebrations culminated with the West End Move on Sunday, July 7th. This cultural explosion attracting residents and visitors to nine different pit stops where Bahamian cuisine and culture were on full display. We had to come to the West. You know, they say West End is the best end. Um, but we wanted to ensure that we came here and that the people were able to benefit from what we're doing as well. So we're hitting up all these spots in West End, you know, um, with along with the Member of Parliament for this area, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry for Grand Bahama. The Member of Parliament for West Grand Bahama and Bimini and Parliamentary Secretary for the Ministry for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Kingsley Smith, stating that this initiative was aimed at supporting and impacting local businesses in West End. So what we're doing is going from business establishment, starting from chicken nest, then we went to Iris, we went to the porch, we went to Sherbos, we went to Waves, now we're here at Eddie's, and then we'll continue it down to Robert Grant, we'll also go to The View, and then we'll go to Coffees on the Bay, to just to show our support, to show our appreciation, um, show the love that we have for the island of Grand Bahama. Minister Moxie highlighted that the West End move, particularly on Sunday nights, is when West End truly comes to life. She noted that the event is specifically tailored to support local vendors in the area. We wanted to ensure that everyone benefited. So it's almost like a, you know, a street festival, just moving from spot to spot. We also have the DJs along the route so that, you know, people can feel the, the vibes in the air. Um, really just to ensure that everyone was able to benefit, not just a select few. For these vendors, the opportunity to provide customers with products and services during the evening proved to be beneficial for their businesses. I'm excited to be here as Mr. Mixer on the Bay as my establishment in the West to prepare for independence. Uh, I will also be at the Independence Extravaganza on Tuesday, looking forward to that. So I want to thank the Ministry of Grand Bahama for having this establishment, an event for us to make some funds and be in the community and have a good time and, and just interact with the community. It was highly attended. And I had such an exciting time out here tonight. I mean, like, the people were just coming in by the droves. Awesome, awesome. If I were to do it again, yes, I will do it again. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Jay Philippe.